Hi, my name's Rich and I'm the Applications Engineer here at TGAM. Today, I'm going to be going over TGAM's new Display Probe. This is a very powerful accessory for the 710A that really extends the functionality of the unit and I'm very excited to tell you about it. So with that, let's get started. The 710A Display Probe is made up of three main parts. The OLED display, which has indicators for your resistance measurement, if you're under or over range, open lead detection status, and hold status. Your remote hold button, which functions just like the hold button on the 710A. And your pass fail LED, which will light green if the measurement is below the test limit and red if the measurement is above the test limit. We'll go over that in a little bit. To connect the display probe to the unit, first, make sure that you're plugging it into channel one. Channel one is on the left hand side when you're looking straight on from the unit. Turn the unit off if it's not already, and then take the display probe connector, line it up with the tab, push, and then screw the threaded leads into the connection. Next, in channel two, you'll take your non-display probe, and you'll do the same thing. Now, to test the display probe, Turn the unit on. You should see the TGAM splash screen, and then it will go to its default display. Once it's at this default display, your display probe is now ready to take a measurement. Taking a measurement is nearly identical to a normal probe. All you're going to do is apply your probes to your device under test, and as you can see, the display probe will update with the display of the 710. If you'd like to hold this value, press the hold button. The value is now held until you press it again. To use the 710A's auto hold feature, hold down the button. The hold button will begin to flash. And now you can take your measurement. It will determine a stable reading. Once you get the stable reading, it is automatically held until you press the button again to get it ready for another reading. This auto hold feature will stay on until you hold the button again to turn it off. When a test limit is set, you can also use the pass fail LED on the display probe to determine what condition the device under test is in. If the device under test is below the test limit, the LED will light green. If the device under test is above the test limit, the LED will light red. And this concludes the overview for the 710A Display Probe. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at tgam.com. Thanks, and have a great time measuring.